Time Warner Cable News, New York One, all day. A new costume exhibit at the School of Visual Arts takes us on a journey through history. Our Roger Clark checks it out. School of Visual Arts student Olivia Wilson used 127 slinkies to make this dress. The springy toy is celebrating its 70th anniversary. I think it really captures, you know, the beauty of the iconic toy, like the way that it goes down the stairs and just its movement, especially I have it on wheels so that I can wear it. <laughs> Wilson's work is on display at the SVA Gramercy Gallery on East 23rd Street, along with other students of 3D Design Chairman Kevin O'Callaghan's class. He gave them three weeks to come up with a ceremonial costume, each marking a 2015 anniversary. I saw this great article in National Geographic a few months ago about uh, traditional tribal ceremonial wear. And I started thinking to myself, wouldn't it be cool if I gave that assignment to my students and they put a modern twist to it? Juan Pablo Tafur's piece looks back on the passage of the Voting Rights Act 50 years ago. I really wanted something that something really animated and that you can really see like just having fun and celebrating a momentous occasion. Charlotte Harrison's work focused on an event five years later. Can you say, Houston, we've had a problem. I think the Apollo 13 mission is really a, a pivotal moment in air and space history, but also it's become such a culturally significant moment. One of the challenges of a project designed by Kevin O'Callaghan, finding very specific materials to complete it. Jake Kodov needed to get his hands on some wheat for his rewind to the death of Vincent Van Gogh 125 years ago. I found a great place that I can just keep going to like when I ran out. Harry Ashby needed to see the light, literally. Neon is 100 years old. It's very difficult to move, very, very fragile. I've broken about $300 worth of neon. Still some left though, all part of the exhibit that has the students pretty proud. It's about keeping up, you know, with the craziness of the idea and, you know, trying to top whatever prompt he gives you. It's a lot of work, oh, a lot of time, you know, and you really got to think it through. But it always comes out great, man. Everything comes out great. And you can check it all out at the gallery through April 11th. In Manhattan, Roger Clark, New York One.